Hi, now let us look at the sixth P that is pain relief during labor. Means why there should be pain during labor? Friends, in the nine months of pregnancy, the mouth of womb is tightly closed. That has to be opened in the nine hours of labor. So that is why these contractions are required to dilate the cervix. Now friends, how painful this can be? Labor pain is considered to be the second most severe type of pain in the world in the entire all different types of pain. It varies from person to person. First time laboring woman gets more pain, the second time or multiparous gets less pain. Also it depends on physical, mental, psychological, social, motivational, cultural differences, how the pain perception differs. So how to cope up with these labor pains? There are medical methods and non-medical methods. Let's first have a look at non-medical methods. Basically you have to distract yourself from this pain. You Walking helps, change of frequent change of position will help you distract yourself from this pain. Breathing techniques will help you. Slow deep breathing is helpful. The partner can massage your back. You can apply some ointments to the back. Heat application, hot fermentation is also helpful. You can have hot water bath or apply jet of water on the back. All these things can help. Also, you have to learn to relax during labor pains. You, have, you can have deep breathing, you can listen to soft music and distract your attention from the labor pain. Now let's see about the medical methods of pain relief. There are some analgesic injections. One is injection tramadol. This injection can be taken in the active phase of labor. It is given intramuscular. It should be given four hours before the actual labor takes place. It can cause a little bit of nausea vomiting. Other injections are narcotic injections also can be considered like morphine, pentazosin or fentanyl. This injection can cause nausea vomiting. It can cause slowing of breathing of the mother that is laboring woman and it can cause little bit of slowing of breathing in the neonate also. So presence of neonatologist or pediatrician at the time of delivery is advisable. Beyond that, we go to labor analgesia or epidural analgesia. Here, an epidural pack is available, sterile pack is available. Anesthetic is required. He puts a needle in your back. Through that, he introduces the sterile indwelling catheter. Needle is withdrawn and the catheter is fixed in position. Through this catheter, he gives top up injections of local anesthesia so that you don't get the pain during labor. The motor power generally remains, so the sensation is taken care of and therefore you don't get the labor pain. The side effects on the mother can be drop in the blood pressure, so your blood pressure and vital parameters are properly monitored. The side effect in the fetus can be the fetal heart rate alterations and therefore the fetal heart rates are monitored on cardiotrochography or NST machine. The progress of labor is monitored by doing four hourly per vaginal examination. The disadvantage is that you don't get the pain sensation, therefore when the cervix dilates fully, you don't get that urge or bearing down sensation and therefore a doctor does your internal examination, tells you that you are fully dilated, palpates your contraction per abdomen and asks you to bear down during the contraction, you, you have to bear down during contraction though you, even though you don't get that urge of bearing down. Sometimes the second stage may be prolonged and you might require assistance in the form of forceps or vacuum delivery. Friends, in case for any reason you land up in caesarean section, the same epidural labor analgesia can be converted into anesthesia for caesarean operation and you can undergo that. And this catheter or this epidural analgesia also by indwelling catheter you can have post-op analgesia and after a delivery or caesarean also you can get for top-ups to have analgesic or labor or pain relief afterwards also. So friends, you can have discussion with your healthcare provider in advance and consider what type of labor analgesia you will go for. Pain relief will definitely help you achieve a normal delivery. I have other nine videos, nine Ps on labor and delivery. Do watch them, they will definitely benefit you. Thank you, keep watching, keep learning.